The last thing a pharma company or a biotech company wants is people consuming their medicine and dropping dead. Now that's something which every pharma and biotech company will treat as a nightmare. Let me know in the comment section if you agree. Now, if that's a nightmare, that is why we have FDA and CDSCO so that they can have regulations and rules so that people follow those rules and nobody dies. Correct? Now, having said that, who is going to make sure that all the rules are being complied? Now, there are two approaches. Now, many people say that, okay, if there is a road, there will be accidents, right? But hey, accidents don't always lead to death. It can lead to some kind of, you know, injury. But when it comes to pharma, if one accident happens, it can lead to deaths of multiple people, right? So that is why the pharma and biotech company came up with a new type of profession. Now, this new type of profession has uh, two functions. Both of them are complementary to each other, but you can become a QA, that is quality assurance, or a QC, or a quality control analyst. But how they are different, yet the same, that we will check in this video. Now, having said that, very interesting thing you should know. If the pharma industry has to make sure that their medicines are effective, follow all the guidelines of the FDA and CDSCO, and people don't die, then they must have this profession, which is QAQC. So in this video, I'm just not going to introduce you to QAQC. I'm going to give you in-depth overview, and then I'll tell you about the future scro scope and growth and how can you progress in your career. Now, more or less, there is no such course which is happening in uh, any university or college for this, but definitely I'll tell you about that also. How can you equip yourself for a QAQC job? Now, one important thing you should know is there are a lot of jobs in QAQC and uh, every biotech and pharma company needs tons of QAQC professionals. So that means job is guaranteed in this particular profession, right? But now, after watching this video, you'll have to judge yourself. Do you, would you enjoy this kind of a job? But then that's where uh, we'll talk at the end, okay? Now, to start with, there are two ways to stop an accident, right? One is a proactive approach. So what is a proactive approach? I will drive slowly, I'll be cautious, I'll be watching around, right? That's proactive. The second will be reactive, like, okay, somebody is about to collide, we will react and immediately stop the accident from happening, right? So the same way, the QA is a proactive approach from stopping an accident from happening. And a QC is a reactive approach to stop an accident from happening, okay? So there's a proactive and this is a reactive, right? So proactive is the government of various countries have laid down rules. So if we just follow the rules, accidents won't happen, right? So FDA guidelines are there, CDSCO guidelines are there, European Union has different guidelines. So all this you have to follow. Now, who will make sure these are being followed? A quality assurance professional. Now, the biotech field is evolving. That means every day new regulations are coming. If you have watched my episode with uh, the director of IQVIA, he, uh, he is the product design director and he mentions it very clearly that every now and then new regulations are coming, right? So quality assurance uh, professional is someone who will be proactive, who will be preventing the defects from happening, who will be ensuring the process is complied and the systems are in place and designs are in place so that pr the product which is coming out of the biotech and pharma industry is high quality. Now, QA professionals establish and maintain the quality management system. It's also called as QMS. So in the QMS, they will maintain all the records so that whenever there is an audit by FDA or CDSCO, they can show the guidelines which was followed. And this also involves developing and implementing standard operating procedures during the manufacturing process, establishing quality policies and record keeping and of course overseeing the training program so that the people who are involved in the manufacturing process are following the protocols laid down by the FDA. Then also they will be involved in risk management that is identifying and mitigating potential quality risk and then making sure that the suppliers who are supplying the raw material are also providing high quality raw material. So this is the job of a quality assurance. That means he is preventing the accident from happening in a pharma and biotech company.
Now we'll come to the quality control. Now quality control is what? Reactive approach. So we will try to detect the defects by doing random sampling. We will look at the finished products and we'll take some samples and we'll go to a lab, we'll test it out. If uh, those tests are meeting the guidelines, we'll verify that the product meets the predetermined specifications and quality standards which has been laid down by the government. And this involves performing the analytical testing, calibrating and maintaining laboratory equipment, interpreting the test results, analyzing the data, investing the out of specification results, and you have to investigate that and then uh, doing batch release testing and stability testing also. So all this is done by the quality control professional. Now, the question to be asked is why should you become a quality assurance and quality control professional? See, there are two approaches when you get into wet lab. One is the R&D, that is the research and development. Now, the research and development is crowded. The molecular biology space is crowded. So, if you still want to get into wet lab, then QAQC is a good area where it is a combination of guidelines from the government, that is uh, rules laid down by the government, that, and of course computers, and of course uh, wet lab also. So, it's a you know borderline wet lab. But of course, in quality control, you're doing a lot of wet lab. In quality assurance, you are just maintaining the quality. Even there also, a lot of wet testing will happen. So it is borderline wet lab, but at the same time, you are also doing a lot of computer job, record keeping and all that. So if you enjoy, you know, if you're someone who likes rules and you who likes not breaking the rules and making sure that people follow the rules, right? You're that kind of a person, then this kind of a job is a good one for you. The starting salary here will be at 30,000 rupees and it can go up to 12 to 15 lakh rupees also as you progress in your career. Uh, you can even get to the vice president of quality control in big pharma companies and there the salary will go up to 50 lakh rupees per annum. So that's also a huge salary progression. But the question to be asked now is what kind of roles you will get? So when you, when you will start, you will be called as a QC chemist or a QC biologist or a Q, QA specialist or a QA associate. These kind of jobs you will see on Biotechnica. Then QA engineers, QA scientists, quality system manager, validation specialist. As you will progress, you will also be uh, promoted to batch record reviewer or when you will further be promoted, you'll be called as an internal or an external reviewer who will audit the internal process or the external suppliers and you'll be certifying them. So all this will be a job of a QA, QC. Now, having said that, you don't really need a course like BAC or MSc for this. You just need a training for QAQC. And if you are certified QAQC professional, getting a job is piece of cake. Let me give you an example. So our placement team, we have been running a placement for artificial intelligence, machine learning, bioinformatics and uh, uh, clinical data management, clinical research, right? But we were being approached by so many pharma and biotech companies. Why are you not starting a QA, QC training program? Because we want to hire trained QA, QC professionals, right? So because the industry was demanding and a lot of you have been asking, that is why Biotechnica is starting a QA, QC training program along with project starting from 12th of September. Now, in this particular training program, first we will train you on the entire QAQC, we will train you on the QMS software and then you will be given all the training, okay, applicatory training, data analysis training, the, regu the rules and regulations which you need to follow and good manufacturing practices guidelines, all of that will be trained and then we will be placing you in these companies. You know, we are actually starting this course because the bi biotech and pharma industry is forcing us. They are calling us and saying, we want trained professionals, please train and send your students. So we want to do that. So that's what we are going to do now. So if you are interested, check the link in the description. Now let's come back to the video and understand what kind of proficiency or um, requirements biotech and pharma companies will look for when you apply for a QA, QC job. Now, first requirement will be a strong understanding of scientific principles. Now, this does not mean only biology. It also means chemistry. Yes, you heard me right. Chemistry, biochemistry, molecular biology, 
microbiology. All of this a very good understanding in a cross domain function. It's not like you just are a specialist of microbiology. How to apply the microbiological principles in biochemistry. This kind of out of the box thinking is required. And that is the reason we are going to train you. So proficiency in analytical techniques will be required like HPLC, GC, UV visual spectroscopy, infrared spectroscopy, mass spectrometry, ELISA, PCR, Western blotting and of course all of this training is available at Biotechnica in the wet lab as well as tri lab. Now you will be also required to know the good manufacturing practices guidelines, good laboratory practices guidelines, good clinical practices guidelines and these regulatory frameworks of not just the India but globally and that's very important here. Then you will also be required to analyze data and interpret the results. You, you should have a very strong biostatistical background and you should be able to present the scientific data clearly and concisely. That's very, very important. Now, moving forward, you will also be required to document all of this in a quality management system, system or a QMS. So we'll train you on that also. Then we have laboratory equipment, operation and maintenance. You need to have the understanding of that. You need to have the experience of that. And then, of course, a very good understanding of the regulatory environment of FDA, EMA, CDS, CEO and various uh, regulatory bodies across the world. So all of this is required. Then you need to have attention to detail, problem solving and critical thinking skills, communication skills, written and verbal, both communication skills, teamwork, collaboration, organizational and time management skills and adaptability and willingness to learn. All of this you need to have to be able to be successful in the QAQC job. Now QAQC job, the best part, okay, there, there is a uh, thing you should know about this job. See, there are two types of job in the biotech sector. One is easy jobs and one is hard jobs. Molecular biology, wet lab R&D is a hard job. You know, getting in is also hard and then growing also is hard because the market is crowded. But when it comes to bioinformatics, it is easy to grow, but of course, understanding the subject is hard. But when it comes to QAQC, understanding the subject is easy because it's all whatever you have studied. It's just that you are building on the top of it with the guidelines and the framework prescribed by FDA and EMA and CDSU. So it is easier to comprehend. It is an easy job. Getting the job is easier because there are so many jobs and the starting salary is also decent. So this is a good idea if you want to get started. And already Biotechnica has 12 companies ready to recruit the moment we have finished training. So that's the best part, right? So that's all about the uh, current scenario. Now you have to look at the future growth. How exactly this will grow? See, as the biopharmaceutical industry is growing anywhere, anywhere in the world, you will be required the development of monoclonal antibodies, vaccines, gene therapies, cell therapies, all of that requires a QAQC professional. In genomics also, you, when you are tailoring treatment based on the individual's genetic makeup, even there you, QAQC is required. In CRISPR and gene editing, you, uh, you will be required. You will be required in biosimilars manufacturing, diagnostics you will be required, agricultural biotechnology you will be required. So everywhere mostly you are required. Now moving forward, what is the trend of the future? What exactly we are seeing? We are seeing more complex product getting generated because of AI and gene therapy and biologics and biosimilar. So that is where you need more sophisticated QA, QC testing and robust QA oversight. So that is why there will be more demand for QA professionals and QC professionals. Of course, because of a lot of lapses and accidents which keeps happening, more and more companies will be under the scrutiny of FDA. So more of them will, will be hiring the QA, QC professionals. So stricter regulatory uh, uh, scrutiny demands more people. You you you, you might have observed that um, news keeps coming. FDA has sent uh, observation to work hard or Biocon. So how does that happen? So QAQC professionals are required there. Of course, the globalization of industry. More companies are coming to India to manufacture because it is cheaper, and that is why you will be required there. Then we have data integrity. See the. Old style QAQC was like the old guys who are there already in QAQC. They will be easily replaced because now is the era of AI. You will be more equipped using AI tools in QAQC. You will be doing more accurate, complete and reliable data uh, analysis and generation through, uh, throughout the product life cycle. And you will be able to highlight what exactly is missing in that because of course you are the Gen Z, right? So you can do things better. So that's the reason 
more companies every cosmetics company pharmaceutical company chemical company biochemical company biopharmaceutical company biotech company needs you so if you want to get into this all you have to do is just click the link below there is a training program starting for this from 12th of september take this training for 60 days and after that you do a project with us and then you get a work experience letter you're no longer a fresher then we will place you in these companies and you're good to go it's a good launch pad for those who are just getting started or those who have a career break because now you can always orient yourself towards this it's a growing field you can grow up to the vice president of the quality control and there is huge demand the other day i was talking to hr and it's a cosmetic company and they are in bangalore and she called me and said shekhar send me five qaqc professions it's it's urgent we don't have time i'm ready to give 50000 salary also to do it so that's the kind of demand calls we get from the biotech and pharma companies so all i'm saying is if you still feel that you need to be at the border of wet lab and rules and you like implementing rules into uh, a company or uh, in a process if you like following the process if you're not someone who wants to break a process then this job is for you it's a growing field but of course let me know your thoughts in the comment section what do you think about qaqc do you, do you want to make a career in qaqc do you want to grow in qaqc or what specific questions you have about qaqc i'll definitely make a special video for all of you for now thank you so much for watching this video it was fun interacting with all of you i'll see you soon in the next one till then keep shining take care bye bye